Membrokti Hawa Brakatha, Yahusha Brokti Hawa Brakatha, Yahusha Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, Let Us Know, Lord Will You Are Edified. My source, CNN.com. Article entitled, A Once in a Generation Winter Storm will impact nearly every state and cripple Christmas travel. Published on December 21st, 2022. A major winter storm and cold blast will impact nearly every state and bring what the National Weather Service is calling a once in a generation type event that will cripple travel on some of the busiest travel days of the year. The strengthening storm will bring more than a foot of snow and possible blizzard conditions to the Midwest as the Weather Service warns of life-threatening wind chills for millions. More than 90 million people are under winter weather alerts and more than 87 million are under wind chill alerts. The alerts stretch across 37 states, dipping as far south as the Texas-Mexico border. The number of people under winter alerts and wind chill alerts has grown to over 100 million people, or roughly a third of the U.S. population, according to the National Weather Service. The cold will stick around for Christmas weekend, making this the coldest Christmas in roughly 40 years for portions of the Plains and Midwest. <clears throat> Snow could fall as far south as Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, and Nashville in Tennessee, and even Birmingham, Alabama on Thursday. Little to no accumulation is expected for most of the southern cities. However, Nashville could pick up about an inch of snow. Baba Bashar, please pray for the Akiam and their families, you know, throughout the United States, okay? Again, the title for this video, Let It Snow. And what I really became keen of is a once in a generation winter storm will impact nearly every state and cripple Christmas travel. So what comes to mind? Hence, cripple Christmas travel. This is Amos 5 and verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord Yahweh be darkness? And we are approaching the second coming of Yahweh, which can also be classified as the day of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? And not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it. Verse 21. I hate. I despise your feast days. Christmas is a so-called feast day, okay? And it has nothing to do with Yahweh Shah. Case in point. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear you the word which... The Lord Yahweh spoke or speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said 
the Lord Yahweh. Learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? Christmas is a way of the heathen. Okay? Research it. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay? Hence the constellation. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a tree, the Christmas tree, right, out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, meaning it takes a man to cut down this tree with an axe or a power saw at this time frame. Verse 4, they deck it with silver and with gold they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not verse 5 they are upright as the palm tree meaning they stand straight up but speak not literal they must needs be born meaning being carried in and out of your house okay they must needs be born because they cannot go be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. So, Jeremiah chapter 10, starting at verse 3 to verse 5, supports that the heathens always celebrated so-called Christmas. However, at this time frame, it was disguised in another form, meaning name, okay? All of this shit goes back to Ham at the end of the day. And the Romans, okay, which are Edomites, did nothing but repackaged it, okay? A once-in-generation winter storm will impact nearly every state and cripple Christmas travel. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Christmas is being crippled this year. Okay? It would not be a so-called joyous occasion. And a lot of people are broke anyway because of inflation. Okay, so that is taking a lot of joy from families because people cannot afford the Christmas they want. Back in Amos chapter 5. Again, Amos 5 and 21, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your Solomon, Solomon assembly, assemblies. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter... 43 and verse 11. Look on the rainbow and praise him that made it. The him that made it is referring to Yahweh. Okay. Very beautiful. It is in the brightness thereof. It compassed the heaven about with a glorious circle. And the hands of the Most High has bended it. Okay. Verse 13. By his commandment, he make the snow to fall a place and send swiftly the lightnings of his judgment. Focal point, by the commandment of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, he makes the snow to fall a place. And regarding Google search, a place means what? to arrive at a place in a sudden or unexpected way. Two months ago, people were prepping for Christmas. 
okay, making arrangements to travel back and forth, okay, to be with their families on this bullshit ass day. All right. However, at this time frame, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has crippled Christmas regardless in the format he did it. Okay. Because a lot of people will say that Esau used a harp at the same time frame. Esau is nothing but an extension of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah on his left side. Okay. A once in a generation winter storm will impact nearly every state and cripple Christmas travels. And so when these people were purchasing tickets, bus tickets, um, train tickets, plane tickets, taking off from work, they never expected a winter storm to cripple Christmas travel. Ecclesiasticus 43 and verse 13. By his commandment, he make the snow to fall a place. Let it snow. And send swiftly the lightnings of his judgment. Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.